All right, in Kotlin, we have operators. The first type of operators we're going to look at is arithmetic operators. These are the operators that you usually see in your math class, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. So let's see them in action. We're going to put them onto the screen so you guys can get an understanding or see um, the power of these operators. All right, so the first one we're going to do is 2 plus 2. I think you guys know the, the answer to that. Press play. We should see four all right so that's addition let's write a comment there so you guys can see that it's you know addition is you know the usual plus sign the next one we're going to do is subtraction can't spell and then we're going to also print that out and we're going to do two minus two put a space there for for looks and we should expect that to be zero okay cool that worked the next one is going to be multiplication we're pretty much going to do a square which is multiply um then we're going to take that print ln and do two times two and we expect that to return four we use asterisk for multiplication and then let's do a division we're going to use a forward slash for this. We're going to use print ln and then two divided by two. And that should return one because anything divided by itself should return one. Then the last one is modulus. This returns the remainder of the division. So in my case, I want to use a weird example. So you guys can get a gist of what I'm talking about. We're going to do 13 modulus 5. We know 5 can go into 13 two times. So the remainder should be. I'll let you guys guess. 3. So that's pretty powerful if you want to see if something is even or odd. Um, if you guys are, you know, into um, doing that. Um, so one more thing I'm going to talk about. You're not just restricted to just two numbers, of course. You could try to use multiple types of these arithmetic operators together um, so you could use 2 plus 2 and then you can plus that or minus that by 7 this will actually work obviously if you have an addition and then you subtract 7 by it it's going to return a negative number and this does follow PEMDAS which is you know at first it looks at the parentheses Exponents multiply division addition then subtraction. So it does 2 plus 2 first and then it's subtracted by 7 Which is then returning negative 3 Now if we want to subtract it first We can use parentheses like I said To make sure that it focuses on that first and then add the value So 2 minus 5 or 2 minus 7 is negative 5 and then you add that by 2 I mean it's still going to return negative 3 Look at that uh, But if we turn that let's see Let's turn that into 9. It would do 2 minus 9, and then it would add the 2. So it's going to be negative 7 plus 2, which is negative 5. Pretty much the same thing. So yeah, or we can just do 9. What's something that comes first? Hmm. Let's do divided by 2. Let's make it weird because you're not just restricted to, um, you know, just whole numbers. So, yeah, let's make this weird. Let's make this 9.5 divided by 2 plus 2. Just so you guys get the whole feeling of what this does. And it should return a decimal number, which is 6.75. So, you guys see how arithmetic works? Let me just put PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and then subtraction. This is the order that it looks at. So yeah, there's addition, subtraction, multiply, division, modulus, and pandas. That is your arithmetic operators.